Hello everyone and welcome back to my flip through series of this custom bullet journal that I made for my sister. So May of 2024, it is the end of semester two uh, for her in her first year of college. So I wanted this layout to be very celebratory of that like accomplishment of finishing your first year of college. So I wanted it to look like confetti was just falling in the background of this cover page. I also made it a dual cover page so that when she flips to it, it is like, oh my gosh, finally the last month of the school year. So I just kind of blocked out the letters and then uh, took all the colors of the rainbow and filled out a bunch of random squares. So it looks pretty pixelated, but I think it kind of gets the effect of the confetti falling in the background that I was going for. So for this month, I didn't put any habits at first. I think I put them on the next page. I did, sorry. This is also like me remembering what I drew much later than when I drew it. So I wrote a cute little note here um, for her to like check off year one done. And then I also filled this layout with uh, spaces for her to put down memories of this past year of college. So first and foremost, I said, list some songs you listen to in a brief memory you have attached to them. I kept the very colorful theme throughout this layout. So the month is kind of like a rainbow checkerboard looking thing. I have a very small important days section and then like those little confetti puller things where you pull the string and then confetti and streamers fly out. I had two of those at the bottom. I have a page that says in advice you'd give to your first week self, which I thought was a very interesting thing to think about when you're finishing college. Like, oh man, like what would I have gone back to tell my freshman year self? And that is something that I sometimes think about. So I thought it'd be really cool to give her a space to write about it. Here's the actual habit section and brain dump section uh, again. Um, with the like celebratory little, I keep wanting to say megaphones, but like they're just supposed to be those little like poppers that pop out streamers and confetti and stuff for celebrations. So this is a very simple monthly, sorry, weekly layout for the first week of May. I just wrote all the days in different colors and did checkered confetti down the sides. I did a very similar layout um, with this one kind of, I guess. I wanted streamers to be all around the edges, kind of looking like they're flowing down the page. I gave her a this week section as well as the days and a blank space for whatever else. So this is the first like double page of memories for her to fill out, which is kind of similar to what I did at the end of semester one back in December. Kind of similar to the semester one recap page, but I did, but I did it as like a double page. So there's more space. So I gave her the topics of best places to study, your favorite classes, favorite food, worst foods, which is honestly probably one of my favorite debates to have with people about like, what was the worst food that you had on campus or off campus, like worst food around campus, places that you want to go, any clubs that she tried and or joined, highlights of the first semester, semester, highlight of the first semester and highlight of the second semester. Now this, I tried to do very similar to the cover page of like confetti, just like raining down in the background. Um, but this one I did streamers reading down the background and then just left blank boxes for the days. This one, I kind of wanted to make it look almost like a bulletin board in a way. So I had these washi stickers with me when I was making this and just kind of outlined each day in a different color, like as if they were just post-it notes stuck to the wall. And then for the last week 
of May leading into June. I did a very simple weekly um, column down the side for the events each day, a this week section for to-do lists, but I also gave her a big brain dump section and a big future problems section. So that leads us into summer because obviously semester one is over. So this was my summer cover sheet for her and it is what I will end the video on as well. I wanted to make it look like you were like looking down on a pond. I don't know, that felt very summery to me. So we got like some ducks swimming over here for the S and the U. The M's are like kind of floating lily pads leaving ripples. The E was a branch and the R was a lily pad with like some fl flowers sprouting across it. I also sketched in a little koi fish down here and then a little turtle kind of popping up and disturbing the water up here as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here are some of the inspiration pictures that I used for this summer layout, actually. Do insert here. I will hopefully... Nope, cut. I hope... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making this drawing. It was really fun to learn how to do like the little water spots here and to try to think of how to make the word blend in to the pond. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found a little bit of inspiration for your May or summer layouts. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!